past month and I wanted to order this a while ago, but I finally got my one wheel pint. Ooh, this thing's heavy. Stoked to be getting this finally. All right, time to give this a try. I'm stoked. Um, also, I am not gonna bother to put the fender on right yet. I'll do that later. Uh, I'm gonna try it out in here. I've never ridden one of these before. What this reminds me of is like something like called an Indo board that I used to use a lot when I was first learning how to surf, like, I don't know, a long time ago very similar for balancing so i think you know i don't have any experience on skateboards but i do surf of course and i also snowboard and it's got very similar characteristics from all the videos i've watched so let's give this a try right now simple stop is on um i've read the manual yeah let's just give it a try also the main reason why I'm going to try it out inside here in the garage is because right now it is like minus 4 out and with the wind chill it's like minus 12 and for those of you who don't know what wind chill is, uh, look it up. It just means it's cold out. It's blustery. So I'm going to practice it in here first and then maybe take it outside once it warms up a bit. It's only November too. Man, Canada. Okay, so right now I have simple stop is in, is enabled. I've hooked the pint up to the phone app and uh, I guess I'll just power it on now. Now I haven't tried it yet, but I have connected it to the app. It's running the most docile profile, the Redwood profile. All right, it's on. Okay, I guess that light means it's fully charged. All right, well, I ride normal, so I'm gonna put my right foot on the back, my left foot on the front on the two pressure pads, and just stand. Okay, I think riding it in here with the simple stop might be a little difficult. Pretty easy to stand up. I can balance on it no problem, or I should say it balances by itself. But I think riding around inside such a small confined space without reverse, without being able to ride backwards will be a little hard. So I can ride forward, but I can't go back. All right, I'm gonna disable simple stop. I'm gonna grab my phone, one sec. Okay, okay, simple stop is off now. Okay, that's a bit better that I can actually ride around backwards now. Wee! Oh yeah, this is totally like an endo board. This would be good training for surfing. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's the wind outside. It's just howling. To dismount, I can just take off my front foot from the ankle. There we go. Yeah, that's easy enough. I think I got the hang of this. Now, too bad it's just not nice enough to go out and play around with this yet. But 
I'm gonna play around with it some more. Maybe I'll ride around in the house a bit. Um, when the weather gets a little better, I'm gonna take it out, grab the GoPro, maybe shoot a little B-roll, and see what I think of this, and have some fun with it. But I'm stoked to have one of these. It's been a long time coming. Uh, I just didn't want to spend, you know, Canadian dollars, like 2,800 Canadian dollars to get the XR. Whereas this works out to be the pint about, I think with tax, well, it's 1,500 plus tax. And it's pretty hefty. It's 23 pounds. I will put the fender on later. Actually, I might put the fender on now. Amazingly, this was the only fall I had, and really I should have gone to a much smoother place to practice, but this abandoned lot had to do as most spots near me are all very hilly. Regardless, Jimmy Chan, who posts a lot of great videos on the one wheel, says the one wheel has the highest injury per mile rate compared to other activities, and I have to say I'd agree with him on that. I don't think I'll be riding this very fast until I get some better safety gear. So for safety gear, I have a bicycle helmet and motorcycle gloves, but I think I might get some wrist guards and a cooler looking helmet very soon. Casey Neistat even broke his collarbone recently while riding his one wheel when he hit a bump or a hole. And it seems this is a common injury and actually Jimmy Chan just posted a video on this as actually I'm editing this video. But damn, is this thing fun to ride? I'd say the feeling reminds me of the first time I carved the proper turn while snowboarding, or rode up and down the face of a wave, or I took a really smooth corner on my motorbike. You can ride the one wheel over a lot of bumpy and rough terrain as you can see here. I've gone over gravel from rough pavement to grass that has some snow on it. It's so much more flexible than say something like an electric skateboard. The carving is so buttery fun. I found it really easy and intuitive to ride, especially at the faster speeds. Having only used this for a short period of time, I personally like the more aggressive shaping profiles. I found the redwood was a bit calm, but I think for someone who has no experience with any type of board sports, redwood is the way to go. Right now I have it set to the most aggressive profile because I found it easier to carve and turn actually at lower speeds. So right here it's about minus three with a crosswind. So my face is actually freezing. It's cold. It only took me about 15 minutes of playing around before I was able to start cruising along nicely. Also, instead of riding the elevated profile to keep the nose up, I wish there was a way to create my own custom shaping profiles in the app, as there are a lot of hills around me. But, eh, I guess I gotta live with it. Right now, you can't tell, but I'm riding up a pretty steep path. But the pint handles it like a champ. I also 3D printed some accessories, a stand for in the house and a stand for in the car. Also, this is a plug for the charging port printed from flexible TPU filament. Man, it's freezing out. My face hurts. Okay, I've had the one wheel pint out now a couple times. I've had it out for several rides and I love it. It's just awesome to ride. This thing completely met my expectations, although my expectations weren't that high anyway because I haven't ridden anything like this before. But I would say 
it is like surfing on land or definitely snowboarding on dry ground. That's what I would say the comparison, the analogy I would make to this machine. It's just so fun. The guys at Future Motion did a great job engineering this. It just, it carves when you can actually start taking some sweeping turns. It feels like the first time when you're riding a motorcycle, as I said before, taking nice smooth arcing turns. It just, you, you feel connected to the road. It's so much fun. Having said that though, I have tried going a little faster on it and I wouldn't want to go top speed on this thing. Uh, whatever it is, 16 miles per hour or 26 kilometers uh, an hour. It, uh, I don't think I would feel that safe. I don't know if that's the right word, but it just feels a little squirrely, especially if you're, if the road has got some heaves or some bumps in it, which around me it does, especially in the winter time. Uh, yeah, probably on smooth ground, it'd be great. But anytime you hit these little bumps, um, it gets squirrely. So mm, I don't think I'm going to do that. I, I want to try to avoid breaking my collarbone or my wrists or anything like that. But having said that, I do feel a lot more confident on it now that I've had it out for a few rides, even though actually after, you know, riding it for half an hour or so, I was feeling pretty good on it. Like it, this thing is really easy if you have any uh, board riding experience on any type of sport like that, like surfing, snowboarding, skateboarding, this should come really intuitive for you. I found I've left Simple Stop off, no problems with that. Uh, the only thing that I wish is that it came with some better protection around because it will get scratched up, banged up, especially I was kind of taking it into places probably that I shouldn't have started taking it into, like just rougher ground. The, so I just stuck some duct tape, some Gorilla tape, some uh, a couple layers of it, just to you know help prevent some of the damage until I can get around to maybe protecting it a bit better. Or I might not bother, I don't know, I'll see. I 3D printed two stands for it, um, which work great. This one here is pretty cool, it even says one wheel on it. Found out on Thingiverse, works great. And also, uh, a stand for in the car, which on the bottom here, I might screw a piece of plywood onto it. This just seems, it works okay, but uh, it's the base just is a little too tiny. And that just slips in on the back here on the other side, uh, opposite of the mag handle. The only issue that I have had is I wish that there was a way to have custom profiles in this. Uh, you can only pick from the four uh, stock profiles, which it would be nice to you know be able to customize your own. The other thing is the app itself. I haven't had too many issues with it. Having said that, I've had it not connect on me and I spent like five minutes having to reboot my phone and then dis like disconnecting Bluetooth. And then anyways, I finally got it to reconnect and I haven't had too many issues with it since. Occasionally it won't connect, but that is something I wish that they would improve. So yeah, this isn't like a full review because there's so many reviews out there. People have already done a great job reviewing this. A lot of, you know, really well-known YouTubers. I just wanted to give my impressions and just kind of post my journey of learning how to ride this. So I'm gonna post some more videos on this eventually. I might do some modifications to it. I might take it apart, see, um, you know, maybe add a float plate on the bottom, maybe out of aluminum, uh, or maybe buy one, I don't know. But anyways, you know, if you're interested, subscribe to my channel. I post videos on all kinds of things. If, you're, if this is the first video that you've seen on my channel, um, yeah, I do all kinds of things. I make surfboards. I post DIYs on, a lot on metalworking, um, sometimes travel, sometimes food. Anyways, that's, uh, that's my channel. So consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.